All right. Uh, time to knock out another one of these informal daily vlogs. Um, and if you hear any sounds in the background, it's the dogs I'm watching right now. Um, but before I get into anything, um, I'm so used to also, I'm so used to streaming where like I have to like wait for an audience to get in, but I don't have to do that right now. I'm just fucking talking into a camera like a, a schizophrenic talks to himself. Um, so before we get into anything, good news, uh, this is now uh, a sponsored vlog, um, for the next 29 days, I am sponsored by uh, uh, Petri underscore Pilar on Twitter. Um, you can go check him out. Uh, and Opsec Drip with Pilar Petri. Uh, so what it is, is it's the only 60 second podcast on the planet where you can get a man in a shemag t holding an actual newspaper and telling you the news of the day in 240 stunning pixels. Um, so feel free to subscribe. There's going to be an end card with that as well. And I guess like I'll vamp for a bit at the end. Um, so feel free to subscribe to his channel, um, and, uh, get, uh, news in bite-sized chunks. Uh, for some reason, uh, he decided he wanted to sponsor this <laughs> vlog and, uh, I, I'm, I'm locked in now. I guess I'm doing a daily vlog now. Uh, so if you decide you also want to sponsor, uh, hit me up, I guess. I don't know. It, it feels weird, because normally I'm used to doing, like, highly produced videos. Well, at least, you know, as highly produced as I can do with an extremely shitty webcam and uh, cheap-ass mic I've had for, like, four years. Um, you know... But, like, I try to I try to make everything, like, very formal and put together and shit. And now I'm just sort of talking into a camera. But, uh, you know, th this works for a lot of other people. And it's what a lot of other people do. Um, I've been following creators like Sneeko, for instance, for a while now. And he started out doing shit exactly like this. Um... So, I don't know, maybe this is the way people like to absorb content now. They just want to have somebody talk to them. I don't fucking know. Let me know whether or not you like it. Let me know if it's shit in the comments. But, uh, somebody already wanted to sponsor it, so feel free to make his money worth it by going and subscribing to his channel. Maybe liking a few of his videos if you found him worthwhile. But, um, all that being said, today's little rant, and I think what I'm going to do for these things... Uh, I started it at the wrong schedule to do it like I would want to do it, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, like, a full-on week of, uh, well, like, six days of vlogs, and then on, like, Friday or something, I will take a rundown of some of the comments that I want to address and sort of do a response to the audience day, uh, where I address some of the stuff in rapid fire. Uh... I don't know if that's a good format, but it sounds exactly as fucking hokey and formatted as it needs to, to potentially get me an audience, so. <laughs> uh, with that being said, today's rant is on the Pledge of Allegiance, because I said something today, and it confused some people. Uh, I, it, the Pledge of Allegiance was trending, some politician I don't know fucking didn't know the words to it or something. Uh... And everybody got their two minutes hate in about that. But my comment, because it was trending, and I might as well piss some people off, is that the Pledge of Allegiance is just grooming children into the cult of statism. Because it is. Okay, so this is potentially, like, a controversial topic. And, you know, whatever. I do that. The other day I was talking about an Australian man who laughed as some cops died. I don't have sacred cows. I like beef. So, uh, with that being said, uh, what is grooming? Uh, grooming is when you try to make somebody purpose-built for uh, something by gradually training them to accept the precepts of it so that it's easy to transition them into that role when the time comes. So, why is this not grooming? 
to, to, to really drive this home, the normal uh, sort of grooming uh, statements are related to sex, right? Children can't consent. This is 100% verifiable. Um, and any libertarian who disagrees with that is not a libertarian. Any Republican or Democrat who disagrees with that should be expelled from the party. Uh, children cannot consent. Uh, you are raping a child if you fuck a child. So, with that being explicit, um, th the reason they can't consent is because they have not fully developed their reasoning skills. They don't have the ability to be informed, much less provide informed consent. It's the same reason drugging somebody means that they didn't consent to the actions in which you engaged them uh, while they were drugged or whatever. Um, you know, because you've incapacitated them, you have removed their ability to effectively reason, and a human which cannot effectively reason cannot effectively consent. It's, it's the same reason that children have to sign, get per permission slips signed, you know? It's that same vibe. Um, you don't have the rational capability to say, I'm going on this trip or whatever. Uh, so you have to get your parents to get your signature. Um, you know, okay. If, if your school runs that way, fine. But suddenly, at the very beginning of their lives, throughout the rest of their existence, throughout the whole thing, all of it, um, you're allowed to force children, typically, to recite this pledge to a flag. Um, and that flag is related to a country. They don't understand the fucking country in fucking kindergarten. You know, they don't understand the flag in kindergarten. They don't understand the history or what it represents. They don't understand the politics of it. So how the fuck are they going to understand enough to consent to the pledge. And if they can't consent, which, pro tip, they can't fucking consent, um, then why would you get them to say that they do? Uh, a while back, there was uh, this video done by an alleged libertarian named Sean Windingland, where he was trying to get these little girls to say that they, in fact, consented to the sexual activity he already performed with them. It was sick, it sucked, and everybody called him out on it. But suddenly, this is an acceptable form of getting kids to do things that they obviously can't consent to, that they obviously can't understand. Because it's considered so benign and so innocuous. Well, is it, though? I mean, government is the undisputed, all-time, grand champion of mass murder. They have all the belts. They could... They could plate their throne in belts. They could build their house of belts. And they have. The very foundation of this country and all other governments has been bloody conquest, murder, rape, enslavement, including this one. This is not an exception. American exceptionalism is a myth. So, <laughs> ultimately, uh, when you're dealing with the Pledge of Allegiance, you're dealing with kids who don't know any of that and would probably not agree to it if they did. Um, not that, you know, their agreement would be a consent either way. You can't get them into binding legal agreements, so how can you get them into a binding agreement with the legal body? And if you can't, then why are you telling them to say it? Why are you lying to them? All of this built up in me over the many years, including when I was in high school, um, it didn't make any fucking sense to me. And it still doesn't. Um, and the only reason I can think of is because in order to maintain an effective tax farm, you have to have a populace that never knew anything different. That from step to stern, from conception to grave is constantly told that this is the only way it can be. It's not. There is anarchy. There are much more libertarian options for civilization, especially now. Imagine saying the pledge during the COVID pandemic 
when it's literally and demonstrably a prison planet, you know, um, there are much more libertarian options. There's total libertarian option, which is anarchy. But you don't hear any of that in the pledge. In fact, you, you hear that, you know, I pledge allegiance to the flag. Why? Why am I pledging allegiance to a piece of cloth, right? <laughs> of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands. Does it? I mean, this flag has been changing for a very long time, and the Republic has been expanding for centuries. So, does it stand for the Republic, or does it stand for an expanding empire? Does it stand for the globalist cunts who have gradually pervaded politics? Um, <laughs> one nation... Under God, or one nation indivisible, are we really indivisible? Are we really indivisible? Because the Civil War kind of wants to disagree with you. This nation is not only divisible, but the news media and the uh, rest of the media, including fiction, loves to divide us along gender lines, along political lines, along e economic lines, along all the lines that they can profit off of. Every single time, this country is divided. And it is divided so that the elites can conquer. Um, you know, there, there's a great verse, you know, uh, a house divided on its, unto itself cannot stand, right? The U.S. is perpetually divided. 100%. Alright? So, the idea that this is an indivisible country is horseshit. And under God? Well, let's talk about under God a little, right? Let's talk about the fact that uh, in my comments on this tweet, somebody says, uh, 20 Tons of Steel says, the Bible tells Christians to make no pledges. My daughter was treated like a heretic at Awana, the midweek Christian's sorry, the Midweek Children's Church, for refusing to say the pledge. So I reposted a thing that I posted not too long ago, which was a series of verses. Now, I got kicked out of a Christian discussion group message on Twitter because I had the audacity to post Bible verses that proved somebody didn't understand the Bible as much as he thought he did. Um, and so that person blocked me, and I was removed and not added back. Um... So, the verses that I listed here are probably going to equally piss some people off, because some of them are the verses that I listed before, and some later on, right? And we all know that they're talking about the Judeo-Christian God, uh, the, the, I think, socialist who wrote that. Um, you know, we all, we all know that that's the God that they're referring to. They're not referring to Krishna. They're not referring to Allah. They're not referring to Satan. They're referring to that particular god, right? So, um, <laughs> not only is this theocratic indoctrination, but it's also full of shit. Because the Bible says, no man can serve two masters, in Matthew 6.24. Uh, it goes on to say that he will grow to love one and hate the other, or vice versa, basically. You know? Uh, it, it says in John 8.12, he that followeth me shall not walk in darkness. Uh, it says in Matthew 10.34, I came not to send peace, but a sword. My kingdom is not of this world. That's John 18.36. And a friend of the world is the enemy of God. James 4.4. 4. Uh, and I hashtagged it, no king but Christ. So is this really a nation under God? Because from what I understand, you're worshipping a false idol by even pledging to this flag to begin with. Is your fealty toward God or this nation? Do you pledge allegiance to the Bible or to the policies of neocons, neoliberals, to the policies of old Whigs, uh, to the general tone of the nation? This nation should not seek the same space in your mind as God. And to treat it separately is very cult-like. It's very cult-like. If, if you replaced the, the Pledge of Allegiance's words with my name, I pledge allegiance to Jeremiah, 
and to and to the United States of Jeremiah and to the Jeremiah for which it stands. Are you starting to see why maybe I might look even more like a cult leader, right? If that was the case, but people don't look at it that way. They don't look at it in the flawed human way that they look at everything else because this is the institution that they grew up with and that's what makes it acceptable. It's a justifying ideology of the entire system, the way it stands in opposition to liberty while saying, in the end, with liberty and justice for all? There is no justice, and it never was for all. It was always for whoever had the power and whoever that power trickled down onto. Maybe, right? Most of the time it wasn't even for that shit. So let's be real clear here and say the Pledge of Allegiance itself is a lie that you lyingly claim kids can make and you lyingly claim kids can make this lying claim because your whole goal is to indoctrinate them, right? Your whole goal is to make sure that they grow up to be good Americans. Well, fuck you if that's you, right? Fuck the Pledge of Allegiance. Fuck the indoctrination systems that used to have kids seek heiling in their classrooms saying this. And now there's a hand over their heart. And that means that that hand can't have any blood on it ever. No, it really doesn't. That hand is equally bloodyable to any hand in history. Every murderer started out a child. Every unethical act started out from... A, a, a seed and an egg. Everything starts out as gametes, and the idea that we should raise those gametes, uh, raise that zygote up into the, the status of a good citizen who does what they're told because of their pledge that they made when they couldn't consent. That's cult shit under any other circumstance. And the idea that it's not... The idea that football players kneeling for it is somehow disrespectful in a way that this fundamentally anti-liberty sentiment being forced down children's throats with the guise of liberty uh, isn't, um, is, is massive hypocrisy. It's 100% bullshit. And I would implore you to not accept it. You know, I'm not, I'm not reading from a script. This is just me rambling into a camera. But I doubt you can find a single flaw with my argument. The, the military grooms kids to pull them out of school into war zones. The intelligence industrial complex grooms kids to pull them out of school into the spying field. The, you know, Silicon Valley industrial complex wants kids to make computer parts. The medical industrial complex wants kids to justify the current system as it is while people are <laughs> currently being killed by uh, current medical policy. Uh, let, let me be real clear here. The public school system itself is rife with grooming. It's just not the grooming that most people think of as evil, so they don't think of the whole system as evil. But make no mistake, this is evil. And if you ever want the system to change for the better, maybe stop telling everybody that they have to support the lesser of two evils and maybe start just opposing evil altogether. Just something to think about. And maybe while you're thinking about that, you can subscribe to my channel uh, and you can also subscribe to the channel of the person sponsoring me, which is Opsec Drip. Um, both of those are available options, and I would hope that you would do so, uh, because the more people support those who sponsor me, the more content I can make. Anyway, feel free to support me with any of that and the links in the description. Uh, and yeah, this has been a successful vlog, I would say. Time to watch it piss people off. See you tomorrow.